Hey, subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. You know, you I hear about this in the movies. I mean, I've seen you know, a couple movies and, you know, comedy movies, you know, where they, you know, they got the body mixed up and shit like that. I never thought it would be in person. Like, you would never think you would hear about shit like this, but crazy-ass world we living in, man. They, watch this, man. Check this video out, man. This is crazy, man. Subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. Eleven siblings are suing a Long Island funeral home after they say the director placed the wrong person in their mother's plot. The heartbroken family says that it, they warned the director, but he didn't listen. CBS 2's Corey James spoke with two of the siblings. When I first walked in, I said, that's not mom. I said, those are our mother's nails. Her burn mark is not on her arm. These two siblings say they made it very clear to the funeral director of this Long Island funeral home that the body they were shown was not their mother. He insisted that it was. I said, mom has a mole. I just kept picking out different things. And he's still at the top of the steps at the funeral home laughing, going, oh, I hear that all the time, you know. They tell me, people say that all the time, then bombing fluid smooths them out. Three days later, after the service for 87-year-old Sadie Williams, they say a phone call from the director proved they were right all along. And he says, um, I just want you to know um, that that wasn't your mom. Salima Lee says she raced over to the funeral home and recorded this video capturing the moment she finally saw her mother. That's my mother. I just knew it. That's not a mobile thing to say. You know anything. I'm just sick. I'm sick. So now... I have to let that other family know. Every single time I think about it, all I can see is my mother on that cold slab naked. And he showed no concern when he opened that door. I saw her just talk naked on the table, just sitting there like she was waiting for me to find her. And what was supposed to be a no more than 72-hour burial because of Muslim tradition turned into 22 days. The family's now suing for $88 million, claiming gross negligence. They questioned it, and they questioned it, and they questioned it, and, and the funeral director insisted um, that he was right. And we tried getting a response from the funeral home, but we're told they could not comment without speaking with their attorney. Still, we have not heard back. We go to Long Island now where a family is confronting double heartbreak. Is it bearing a loved one? It's not hard enough. One family was forced to do that twice after the funeral home mixed up their mother's body. Now they're suing and News Force Paisy Chang is live in Amityville. What a story, Paisy. Yeah, Natalie, the thing that really stings is that the family of this deceased woman had told the funeral director all along, this isn't our mother. It doesn't look like her. But he kept insisting that it was and that this was just part. That's crazy. How you going to, you know, kept consist? Hey, 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 no, this is not your mama. That don't even sound right, man. Somebody going to tell me what my mama look like. That's how you know, man, this world is crazy. Anything for a dollar. He was just trying to get his money. Part of the embalming process and that people tend to look different. It wasn't until he had to prepare for the next funeral when he realized he had gotten the wrong body. Everybody thought that she was buried. She was loved by everybody. This should not even, even have happened to her. Salima Lee and her brother Ishmael Williams still can't believe what happened to their mother. And we trusted him. Right. They do the right thing. Even now, it's like every day I, I, I have that memory in my head, seeing my mother still above the ground. 87-year-old Sadie Williams lost her battle with COVID. A traditional Islamic burial means the family had 72 hours to lay her to rest. They hired Haskell Funeral Services in Amityville, who handled their father's funeral three years ago. The night before her service, Salima sensed something was wrong. I looked at him and I said, that's not my mother. He said, of course it is. And so I walked down the steps and I got closer and I looked and I said, this is not my mother, and why is she wearing a child's watch? And then I said, this is not her arm. I said, her arm? She, she had like a burn mark on her. This is not her arm. The body in the casket did not have a mole, something Sadie had her entire life. He says, well, the embalming fluid smooths, it, smooths out the wrinkles and everything. Even though Salima and her 10 siblings thought things didn't add up, they say the funeral homeowner insisted it was her. 
all the time this happens to me because the fact I do such a great job with the makeup and everything and it smooths out the wrinkles and I said but she looks so much younger mother was 87 years old the other woman who he had prepared for the funeral was in her 50s but it wasn't until after the burial that Salima got the call he says I have some bad news to tell you um, the, the body wasn't your mom's furious Salima recorded her next conversation with the funeral home owner he told her Sadie was actually at the funeral home the entire time and he needed to notify the other family about the mistake so now I have to let that other family know the same thing that their mother is there the Williams family is suing the funeral home because of this mistake Sadie was not buried until three weeks later you just would have checked. I mean, the uh, ego has to be so big that you don't think you can possibly make a mistake. He has to be a narcissist.